Welcome to the 18th Annual Discovery of the Year Awards. Please welcome Mrs. Fawn Windsor Clive, Advisory Board Member of the Royal Photographic Society of Thailand, and Mr. Hossein Fermani, IPA Founder. Hello and welcome back to the International Photography Awards 18th editions. We have started this uh, photography competitions in 2003 and now it's 2021, so we have wow. been a long, long way. Nearly two decades. Nearly two decades, yes. Today we're celebrating the winning images of IPA, non-professional and students category. Yes, we'll bring into the spotlight some of the brilliant images that have been entered by the amateur photographers in IPA 2020. But before we do that, let's hear a few words from our co-chair of the Lucy Awards and the head of IPA Jury Committee, Ms. Susan Barris. The non-pro and amateur entries into the IPA have come in by the thousands and it is gratifying to see that there are so many brilliantly talented photographers out there that they could easily in a very short order become pros and I fully expect that to happen. Photography thanks to them will have a bright future and I'm anxious for you all to take a look at the finalists for the 2020 amateur and non-pro IPA entries. We are thrilled to present to you now the finalist for the title of Discovery of the Year 2020, starting with a winner in the non-pro advertising category. This category calls for unique visuals to create advertising images that are exceptional in composition and concepts. And the winner for non-pro advertising photographer was awarded to Rebecca Legovic for her minimalist fashion editorial titled Temple of Colors. Beautiful graphic work. Uh, let's look at some of the images that she entered in the competition. Rebecca Legovic, Temple of Colors, advertising. Colors, it's a fashion editorial created a year ago. I usually have always a vision of colors and composition that I want to highlight. I like natural light, so very often it's very difficult to arrange all the variables when you are outside the studio. This series celebrates the power of colors, uh, minimalism, a strong composition, strong lines in one specific architectural context. Um, I'm very honored that International Photography Awards once again recognize my photographic work. Thank you very much. The winner of non-pro analog photography category was awarded to Elena Litvinova for her images titled Bovo's Summer Evening. Let's look at Ilona's work. Elena Litvinova, Vova's Summer Evening, Analog, Film. This spontaneous photograph captures perfectly a fleeting peaceful still moment of a ceaselessly moving and evolving beauty of the humankind. Trying to see what is invisible otherwise, this is what photography means to me. Peter Lee won the title of the non-pro architecture photography for his image titled Vanishing Lines taken in the stunning church in Copenhagen. Let's have a look. Peter Lee, Vanishing Lines, Architecture. I'm 
My name is Peter, I'm a photographer based in London. My main work sits between realism and fantasy, and since 2018 I have been photographing large interior spaces that are not only pleasing to the eye, but also offers a sense of otherworldliness. I'm really honoured to receive the IPA award from the Image Fashion Lines. Thank you. The winner of book category is Theodelina Denti, whose photo titled Uninhabited Places reveals the poetry and fragility of life. Let's look at the work. Theodelina Dutri, Uninhabited Places, book. Thank you so much International Photography Works for choosing my work and allowing me to share it. My photo book shows my way of seeing life and its fragility, and my constant search of inhabiting silences with poetry. The image on the book cover is called Uninhabited Places. The 2020 Deeper Perspective category winner is F. Dilek Uyar whose work in the epicenter of COVID-19 documents the dramatic scenes of an intensive care unit of a hospital in Turkey. F. Dilak Uyar, in epicenter of COVID-19, deeper perspective. In the beginning of COVID-19, as a photographer, I told myself, even I can't change the history, I can show it. So I entered to the epicenter of COVID-19 to take photos more closer by taking a huge risk which hadn't been uh, done before. I think it worked. The next category is Editorial and Press. Tim Evans say their names powerfully documented the uprising that emerged in the wake of George Floyd's murder by police in USA. Let's look at his work. Tim Evans, Say Their Names, Editorial, Press. Minnesota following the police killing of George Floyd. 
Foreground's document the pain, resilience, and solidarity of a community during a time of extreme trial. I'm sincerely grateful to the IPA for honoring my work and for sharing it with a broader audience. Thank you. And the winner of event category is Wei Fu, who captured the journey to Dhaka of hundreds of thousands of Muslim devotees. Shall we look at his work? Wei Fu, Muslim Congregation in Dhaka. Event. It's a great honor to have this prize. My photo idea came from, I think the world needs peace right now. The people need praying always. Thank you, IPA. Thank you, George. Thanks my wife and my family. They always support me. Thanks God. Thank you all. Great work indeed. Chloe Mayneimer won the fine art category for her series of self-portraits titled Made in the Shade, in which the, the character challenges the stereotype of their era. Let's look at her work. Chloe Maynier, Made in the Shade, Fine Art. Three years after starting this fine art project, I'm very honored to receive this award that validates not only my vision, but also the importance of continuing the action for gender equality. And the winner of the 2020 Nature category is Babak Merafsha for a stunning image of the magnificent Kara Desert in Iran. Babak Merafshar, Magnificence of Desert, Nature. Hello everyone, my name is Babak Merafshar. I live two hours drive from the mysterious Kara Desert. Mostly I like to travel by myself to stay away from my busy lifestyle in the middle of Isfahan city in Iran. I've been taking pictures of deserts for more than eight years. And one of my biggest challenges in these eight years have been capturing the first and last rays of the sun when they touch the desert hills. And I think I've been quite successful with my winning photo, The Magnificence of Deserts. I am proud to be one of the winners of IPA 2020. Also, I thank IPA for allowing me to share my photo with the world. Thank you. Hussein Fardinfar is the winner of non-pro people category. His series Blackout has captured the heartbreak and hopelessness of survival of the conflict in Abkhazia in Georgia. Let's look at his work. Hossein Fardinfard, Blackout, People.
Black House is a series about the Abkhazian refugees in Georgia showing the long-term consequences of war and I feel very honored to be able to share the story with a larger audience through the IPA award. The non-pro special category was awarded to Aaron Chuo for his image titled The Incoming Thunderstorm in which he captured the beauty and raw power of nature forces. Erin Chuo, The Incoming Thunderstorm, Special. Augusto Bartele received the awards for 2020 non-pro sports category for his accelerating series capturing the thrill of the skydivers in the beautiful Maldives. Let's look at his great work. Augusto Bartel, the Maldives, skydiver photographer perspective, sports. I'm delighted to receive this award. The opportunity I got to be skydiving on the first event over the Maldives was unreal. The IPA award is the grade I got due to the amount of time, effort and love I put into skydiving. Thank you so much. And the winner of Still in Motion and Video category is Simone Francescancelli, with his entry titled PSI COVID-19, representing the strange and parallel realities of living in the isolation imposed by the COVID pandemic. Simone Francescancelli, PSI COVID-19, still in motion, video. The project I presented concerned the ends of the COVID-19 in our life. It's a psychological journey into human's fears and weakness. And I'm really honored to be awarded as a category winner. Thank you. Well, to present the IPA 2020 Discovery of the Year, the Lucy Trophy and $5,000 in cash prize, we're going to America. America. Yes. We're going to see my friend, dear friend, Steve McCrory from Pennsylvania is going to present the new Discovery of the Year 2020. Thank you, Steve. Hi, I'm Steve McCurry from Snowy, Pennsylvania. It's a pleasure to announce the IPA 2020 Discovery of the Year winner. I have it right here. Delic Yuara for the epicenter of COVID-19. Congratulations, Delic. An important story, well done. To tell the story in deep, you have to spend a lot of time. The photographer was in the COVID intensive care unit for 29 days. He wanted to tell all the aspects, the patient, the care, the doctors, even in the most difficult moment. Rightly, a lot of space has been given to this subject, but uh, I haven't seen many from Turkey. Congratulations to the photographers Dilek Uyar for telling the story with honestly and professionalism. 
Dilik Wuya spent 29 days in the intensive care of uh, COVID-19 patients at his own risk of life and created this series of valuable documentation of uh, the pandemic. It not only shows the sufferings of the patient, but also how frontline medical staff have been trying to save the patients. It has once again proved what Robert Kappa has said. If your photograph is not good enough, it's because you are not close enough. Thank you, Steve. Seems like a very, very cold. Stay, stay warm, my friend. There's a freezing guy uh, in the yeah, US right so now. Cold, huh? yes. <laughs> the International Photography Award is not just about great images, but also about championing and supporting photography and the crucial role it plays in the world today. It's a meaning of shedding light on our reality, taking us into and giving shape to the experiences and vision of those who hold the camera. And we hope that you become part of the IPA family by following us on social media. If you have great images to share and important stories to tell, take the opportunity to enter the 2021 International Photography Awards so your talent and vision can be recognized by people around the world. So thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank you for being uh, with us for two nights uh, through the uh, Professionals and Non-Professional 2020. And we hope to see you in 2021 IPA. Absolutely. Thank you. Good night. Good night.